um, do you think we high performance is the scene is seen as this is the only way that we can achieve what we need to achieve? Do you think it's kind of you, you said simple, narrow definitions of what winning means can lead to serious unforeseen consequences? And I often think with with high performance, it, it, the view is in people's head, right, we need that to be able to win in whatever context winning means. Do you think it's too simplistic to go, right, high performance is the is the pathway and that let, let's get that, let's do that? Yeah, I think we've totally over, oversimplified it uh, and and actually then started to use this label of high performance culture to excuse things. Mm -hmm. So when poor behaviour happens, there's a sense of, oh, well, that's what's required in order to get you know, high performance. High performance is tough. Therefore, you know, anything goes. And I think we see this has been abused in the sports world, but equally in the business world. And I always think there's a lot of this language that is associated with high performance culture. You've got to be all in. You've got to do whatever it takes that I now see as really quite sinister because actually that's sort of you giving up uh, a sense of values, a sense of having some boundaries on what behaviours are acceptable or not acceptable. And thinking about the approach, you know, being very deliberate about how we approach things. So uh, 